I think I've done a video on this before, but I am just, um, I'm gonna kinda, kinda reiterate the subject a bit. And this has everything to do with what's known as H and J violations, which stands for hyphenation and justification violations, all right? So in our chapter text, um, we have certain settings. We have hyphenation settings already set up. So um, th this is typically what I generally use and then justification options. Um, these are typically what I use, all right? However, with certain fonts, you may decide that you need to tweak that more, all right? So in looking at this document, uh, this page is good, but this page looks, I mean, we have four lines that are not following. Here's two lines. Um, not too much throughout the document, <clears throat> but I do see some, and I don't necessarily like um, some of the spacing. So there's a couple of things that we can do to correct this issue. First of all, something to note that if you are changing the book size, like our template starts out as six by nine. Well, this book I adjusted down to five by eight. And so oftentimes when you are going to a smaller size, you are going to have to make some manual adjustments to your hyphenation and justification settings. Also to your runt setting. Now runt, or what is a runt? A runt is where you have a short line at the end of a paragraph. So you only have one word. So let's say it was on a line by itself. This is what is called a runt and they are not good in book design. Now, we have in our chapter text style, we have runts. We correct runts automatically, all right? This grep style right here corrects runts. What it is saying is it's telling InDesign um, the to apply the no break style to the last 10 characters of your paragraph, all right? So InDesign counts 10 and applies that no break style. Now, 10 is great for six by nine documents, but for five by eight documents, it may be a little bit too much. So if you're doing a five by eight book, you may want to adjust this uh, this uh, rep style down to seven. So I changed 10 to seven and I'm gonna click on okay. <clears throat> so that will help somewhat. Um, it's not gonna help them all. We actually, there were three, there were four on here, um, four of these H and J violations and now there's only three. So that one change helped some. Now, if you do not view the, the yellow color, just remember, this does not print. These are just letting you know that there are some violations there and you can turn this feature on and off. I think it's under composition, under preferences, which is edit preferences, composition, H and J violations. So you can turn them off and on here. I prefer to see them on because there's some cases that I may need to adjust lines manually myself, all right? All right, so another thing that you can do if you go from a six by nine book to a five by eight is adjust your hyphenation settings. So I typically will not hyphenate words that are six letters, uh, uh, less than six letters. But for this, you can go down to five, I think would be okay. I also tell it not to um, hyphenate only two letters, but for a five by eight book, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down to two on both before and after. So we're gonna drop that down to two. We're gonna keep our hyphenation limit to one, our hyphenation zone to 0.25, and we're gonna still keep it in the middle. I'm still not gonna check any of these. Um, because we do not want to hyphenate capital words, we don't want to hyphenate the last word, and we don't want to hyphenate across pages. All right, so we're gonna click on OK. And sometimes that will get rid of more yellow, but in this case, those particular ones, 
um, it hasn't it didn't seem to make any adjustments on that page all right so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to take a look at the hyphenation settings uh, I'm sorry, the justification settings. So right now I'm gonna turn off this preview. Now there's different things that you can play around here. You can adjust the word spacing. We can change this to 80. We can change this to 120. So let's take a look at what changing that justification and word spacing to 80 and 120, what it does. So let's click on preview. Doesn't look like it does anything. Hold on, it's thinking. However, if you notice this bottom line here, that change did get rid of this. It's such a slight change that you don't really notice it, but it did nothing for these two. Now, we don't necessarily have to get rid of these, um, but it just helps just adjusting the spacing a, a, a little bit. So we're going to leave that word spacing to 80 and 120. Again, this font makes a difference and the book size is definitely going to make a difference in what you want. So you just need to go in and play. So we're going to change letter spacing. We're just going to try to go down and see what that does for us. All right, that created more yellow. All right, so I don't want to do that. So we're going to change this back to negative five and five. <clears throat> and let's see what happens. <laughs> and you'll, when, when you have preview on, sometimes it takes a while. So let, let's just go ahead and bump this up to six and see what it gives us. Just give it a minute. All right, so that didn't really change anything too much. So I'm going to actually just keep it what I usually have on my settings, which is five and five. Now for glyph scaling, I am going to change it to 97 and 103. Then we're going to take a look at it. All right, so that got rid of one more problem. So when you are doing books, and the spacing, if you have a lot of those H and J violations, those are just a couple of the things that you can change that may improve the overall spacing. So going into hyphenation and going into justification and then also changing that runt um, application from 10 down to seven. I would keep it at 10 if your book size is larger than than a five by eight, but seven is okay for a five by eight book. All right, so now um, one of those changes actually changed this line and I actually liked this line spaced out a bit more. So I will manually go in and make some tweaks if I don't like the way some of the yellow is. And then I will also manually make some tweaks. I'm actually going to take he off of <clears throat> my character style for this one because I don't think it looks good that way. Let me do this real quick. So I, I'm just going to change it to two words just for this paragraph. I think that looks a little better. And um, I need to balance these pages. And so when you're balancing, you're going to add in more rule breaking, which is okay. Um, you just have to watch how bad you break the rules. All right, and I adjusted the tracking on this. It's pretty tight. Now my lines are balanced, but this might be a little bit too tight. Now, the thing is, we're gonna clear that. You can actually, if you have one particular paragraph, um, you can actually just change the justification settings for that one particular paragraph and you don't have to change it for the whole style. So let's say I wanted to get rid of this yellow somehow. We can go in and go to justification and do some manual, do some manual um, changes ourselves. And um, play around with it. 104, 
and and make sure yours says Adobe Paragraph Composer. What that is is it's it's setting the justification for the entire paragraph. It's looking at the entire paragraph and not just a single line. If it is on um, single line Composer, it is only looking at the single line. All right, so we're just going to leave this here. All right, so. You can change those justification settings for individual paragraphs outside of the style if you want. Um, now to balance these pages, um, I'm actually going to make an adjustment in my style, which is really going to change everything. And since I really haven't started doing anything, what I did is I just changed my spacing for my chapter title from one inch to 0.75 inches. Um, with this book being smaller, I think that's a better use of space, which brought this line up. But I still have a justification, I, I'm sorry, a balance page issue. So now I've got to figure out where um, I'm going to get this line from, whether I take a line away from here or whether I add a line here. Um, Another thing that we can do to help with space is adjust our indent. Now in our template, our indent is set to 0.25, all right, which, which is a pretty normal size indent, but the actual rule in book design is that your indent should be the same size as your font. So we have a 12 point font and we, uh, can change our indent to 12 point, which equals 2.667. And then we can readjust it. And so that indent is gonna cause things to change as well because you're adding more space to that first line. So as you saw, things adjusted and um, now our pages are balanced, all right? So that's another thing that we can do. Um, there was one other thing that just popped in my head. Uh, first of all, this is a five by eight book and a 12 point font is way, way too big for a five, five by eight book. So I am actually going to adjust the font size down, which is going to mess everything up together. So my advice to you, at, after you place your document and run your scripts, take that first paragraph and I mean the first chapter and play around with those justification settings, hyphenation settings, and that grep style setting for the runts, um, as well as your indents in that first paragraph, first chapter until you're pleased with the outcome. Let me clear this override. So now making all those adjustments, you will see I don't really have a lot of yellow text now. So I don't have a lot of text that's breaking those hyphenation and justification rules. So this is a better option for this book. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.